Dr. Marty carries his weight. And um, I carry mine, a lot of it right here, but I did lose it. Can, can you tell I won? So, so anyway, I have to tell you that I think I'm on to something so big here because, because I had to prove it out myself. I am an insulin dependent diabetic who fights weight every day of my life because I shoot insulin. My pancreas does not work on its own. It never will. I don't care if I go to a size six. It's, in fact, the dress that I ordered for celebration for Chocolate Dynasty, oh, I can't wait. Chocolate Dynasty, don't leave. Chocolate Dynasty, Chocolate Dynasty, I ordered it in at 12. My dress was at 12. And I got it in and I said, Marty zipped this up and it went way, I knew it was way too big. And I said, oh my gosh, this was Monday. I said, we are in the worst trouble. I have no dress. <laughs> and so I raced it to the, the lady that does alterations. I'm telling you this story because this all just happened. I was ready to kill. I, I just went, how could I have lost, I, I didn't lose that much weight that I'd go down that much. And so I ran to the, all, and she, I said, you're going to have to take it in here. You're going to have to take it in here, and you got to take the arms. We're, look at my arms. Wow. I mean, that is, that is wonderful. I mean, having fat arms. But anyway, <laughs> so I raced it in, and she said, Mrs. Brooks, she um, has a strong accent. I, I don't know what country she's from. But anyway, she said, she said, I cannot do. And I said, no, you got to do. <laughs> and she said, no, cannot do. Have to take arm off a dress. Mm -hmm. Have to remake dress. Have to remake the bottom. I cannot do. And I said, well, we're both in deep crap. <laughs> and so I went to Dillard's and put on a size 10 and it went zip. <gasps> and I just went, holy, because these babies are always a problem. <laughs> so, on Saturday night, I'm doing a smash down. Anyway, uh, but everything else fits. Just a smash down on the top. So don't come pull over my coat, kiddo. Anyway, I gotta tell you, Marty isn't mic'd up. So, but, but I have to tell you how disciplined he's been with me because his, it's just amazing that he has, he's so committed. I mean, this man is just, you know, he didn't have to worry about getting in front of everybody or anything. And he just went right with me, which made me also think in my pilot study that I should probably pick uh, some couples. Yeah. Because husband-wife teams, you don't need it, Janelle, husband-wife teams are really strong together. Like Marty and I walk our three and a half miles. We, we eat our drinks together. I taught him how to make it shake it, shake it, shake it. I was supposed to hippie, hippie, shake it, shake it in, but you guys were late, so I didn't dare do all the shake it, shake it. Anyway, I want them to tell you how you have felt doing your two drinks and eating your meal. Awesome. You need to tell them the best part. You are taking, he's taking no medication. Well, he was on cholesterol and blood pressure. It's in his family, boy. It's in the family. His grandpa died of a heart attack at 53, and so it's in the fam. But he is—he's good. I mean, that's well, I great. Beat that record. <laughs> yeah, he, turned, he turned 68. Does he look fabulous? Yeah, he, he's a handsome devil, all right. Well, do you love the bling? I know you all wait to see what necklace she has on next. Well, this is a Betsy baby, honey. Okay, now let me get in. You can sit down, honey. I didn't know she was going to tell my age. Uh, 